Adaptive radiations are times of extreme diversification when small numbers of species change rapidly into much larger numbers of species. Adaptive radiations are an example of punctuated equilibrium where one or few species radiate outward and differentiate very rapidly in evolutionary history. Three phenomena can trigger adaptive radiations. We're going to look at mass extinctions, colonization events, and evolutionary innovations. All of these result in access to plentiful new resources, which opens up the opportunity for speciation to occur. Mass extinctions are when a large natural disaster or other event causes the sudden elimination of many groups of species. We see several mass extinctions throughout history. When some groups go extinct, this opens up resources for other groups to use. A good example of this is after the extinction of dinosaurs, mammals went through an adaptive radiation. They stepped up and started using all of the resources that were left available when the dinosaurs died. Because of this, mammals went from very small and very few numbers of species to a huge diversity of mammals that we now see today. Colonization events can also lead to adaptive radiations. This happens when colonizers find a large number of opportunities for adaptation and diversification. We've seen this in the Galapagos finches and in Hawaii with different groups such as fruit flies or birds. When a new organism arrives in a new location, this founding population has an abundant amount of resources available to them. This allows for adaptive radiation and the differentiation of different parts of the population to specialize on certain resources. The last thing we're going to look at is evolutionary innovation. With the evolution of new innovative features, we see an increase in fitness and a species can rapidly diversify and speciation occurs. One example of this is the innovation of wings and a rigid skeleton structure that appears in insects. The hard skeleton is very protective, and wings allow these animals to reach brand new resources that were not available to them before. This type of diversification has led to more than 800,000 species of insects alive today. Here's a practice question. The evolution of flight in birds would likely be considered adaptive radiation as a result of which phenomena? Correct. Evolutionary innovation. Remember, birds evolved from a type of dinosaur. Dinosaurs could not fly, but birds could. This opens up new resources for the birds and allowed for adaptive radiation to occur. Let's talk a little more about mass extinctions. There have been five mass extinctions in Earth's history, and it's argued that we are currently going through a sixth mass extinction. There are two types of extinctions that we can look at. Mass extinctions are when a large number of species become extinct over a short period of time due to extraordinary and sudden environmental changes. We also see that there are background extinctions going on all the time. These extinctions occur at lower rates during times other than mass extinctions. Every year we lose a certain number of species and this is our background extinction. We can see from this graph here that there have been five mass extinctions in Earth's history. Remember, background extinctions occur naturally at lower rates during periods other than during mass extinctions. These generally result from natural selection. Some groups will be outcompeted by other groups, either new species or other species moving into areas, and this can cause them to go extinct. Mass extinctions generally occur due to rapid climate change. There are many things or events that can cause this climate change to occur. For example, when the dinosaurs went extinct, a large meteor hit Earth and landed in the Gulf of Mexico. This caused such a disruption and threw up so much sediment into the Earth's atmosphere that global climate change occurred. Global climate change caused the extinction of dinosaurs and many other species. 
Another cause of mass extinctions was the supervolcanoes erupting. Again, this disrupted Earth's atmosphere and caused global climate change at a very ra rapid rate, causing mass extinctions throughout the globe. It is argued that we are currently going through a sixth mass extinction due to human interactions. Humans are causing global climate change. And we are causing many organisms to go extinct due to destruction of habitat and pollution as well. If we continue at our current rate, we may lose more species than we can count. Here's a practice question. Mass extinctions could be considered blank, whereas background extinctions are caused by blank. The correct answer is D, or 4. Mass extinctions could be considered genetic drift. Random natural disasters occur and cause bottleneck effects in extinctions and wiping out organisms. Background extinctions are caused by natural selection. This segment has covered the ideas of adaptive radiation and mass extinctions. Stay tuned for more in biology.